Hey, what's up, students? It's me, Seth Pro. I want to talk about a Google Docs tip that's super cool. It has to do with a toggle to make your life a lot easier. There's so many cool ways to do this. When I'm working with students with executive function challenges, we often work a little bit on um, project management, note taking, things of this sort, or writing essays and papers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a screen share here, and I'm going to show you how this works. Essentially, what you're going to do is you're going to open up a Google Doc, and we are going to change this Google Doc so we can have a toggle, which means that if I'm just going to use the example of um, writing an essay, but and it doesn't matter if you're in fifth grade or if you're in college, this is super cool. Um, and you can also use this again as, for project management or for note taking in a class. But I'm just going to use the example of an essay, and you'll be able to see how you can adapt it to note taking or project management. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go into a document. We're going to give the document a name. We're going to call it Hi. All right, we got a document called Hi. I'm going to change there. There we go. Now it's called high. I'm going to go to file and I'm going to go straight down here to page setup. Obviously, if you're watching this, you might have to click pause as you're watching this video to do these things. Here we go. Go ahead and slide down here. Go to page setup. And right here, it says page setup. What we're going to do is we're going to click this little thing here called page list because it has to be on page list in order for you to do this. So we're going to click OK for page list. Now we have got Pageless. So we've got a page and it's pageless. What does that mean? It means all you're seeing is this big white blank canvas. Now, let's say that I'm going to write something. Let's say that, um, as I said, we're going to write an essay. Let's say I'm going to write an introduction for, oops, why isn't my mouse working? We're going to write a little introduction for my essay. And maybe in that introduction, I'm going to put like the theme and I'm going to put the opening set, the hook and whatever. So I'm putting some stuff into the intro. Then I'm going to do my body section one. So right in, in your introduction, as you all know, whether your introduction is a paragraph or whether it's four pages and you're writing a big college paper, the introduction is the first thing that happens. And then we have usually body one, body two, body three. And the introduction says, yo, what's up, world? I'm writing you this thing. And it's going to tell you three things oftentimes. So those are the, your three body sections or body paragraphs. And then I'm going to do a body two. And then I'm going to do a body three. And then we're going to do a conclusion. And then maybe we have a bibliography. So we have this paper here. Cool. Awesome. Great. Now, let's say that I want to delete this little high here. Okay. And obviously, at the top of your paper, you're always going to write your name, date, teacher, title, and all that sort of stuff. But my intro... I want to take some notes here. I want this to turn into my big old outline. And I want to take notes up in this place. And I want it to be messy as I'm brainstorming. I just want to brainstorm straight into here. But I don't want the whole page to be messy. That's going to confuse my brain. So with the executive function, we want to simplify it, organize. We're going to make it look awesome. How are we going to do that? My intro, I'm going to go here. I'm going to change this to maybe subtitle, maybe heading one. I'm going to do this one into a heading one. I like to do this for myself. You don't have to do this, um, but I like to change it. So visually it shows up like this. I'm just showing you how I do it. Then I'm going to go back to heading one and I'm going to say update heading one to match. That's going to make sure that all of them do the same thing. Now I'm going to make my body one into a heading one. I know I'm talking fast. We're going to go to body two. We're going to make that a heading one. We're going to go to the body three. Did I mess up there? We're going to make that into a heading one. I think that I made that a heading two. Oh, I did. I made that heading two. We'll check this out. I'm going to make all my heading twos this color so that they stand out a little bit differently. Then I'm going to go back here to update heading two to match. And then my conclusion, I'm going to make that a heading one. And But my body two, I want that to be a heading one. However, I might have ideas within body two. I might, let's say I have ideas for themes or for hooks. That's a great one. Let's say I have ideas for hooks. I'm going to change that into a heading two. Now, let's say I have like all these different ideas. I'm just randomly putting letters in there for different ideas for hooks for my paper. Guess what? I can now toggle it. If you hover over heading two, you can toggle it. If you hover over <laughs> heading ones, you can toggle it. And look, it hides the hook, everything under that. You can toggle this. So now you've got a toggle. You can fill it with all kinds of stuff. As I said, you can also do this for note taking. Let me tell you one way that you can do that. Let's say that we are looking at um, a science class and we're doing something on, um, let's say we're learning about rocks. And in that thing, we are learning about igneous, sedimentary, metamorphic rocks. 
Then you can put all your notes about igneous rocks, for example, under set number two. You can put all your notes under uh, sedimentary rocks under that one. And uh, as I said, these are toggles now, so you will be able to toggle these up and down. And then you can even put them where you can say, let's say the date. Let's say the date was October 4th, and you can organize your notes that way. This is a brilliant way to organize a ton of notes. I prefer handwriting notes and drawing notes and making a visual. However, this is a brilliant way to take notes and make it really easy to find what you need, find the dates, keep it all in one easy place. You can do it by quarter, by semester, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. My name is Seth Perler. Welcome. I want to wish you peace of mind, joy, and connection with the people you care about. If you like what I'm doing, share this with somebody, subscribe, like it, comment, all the things. Leave a comment. Are there any ideas that you have for using toggles with Google Docs or to make writing essays or papers or anything easier? Go ahead and jot it down in the notes for us. We'd love to see it. I appreciate you. Take care. Bye-bye.